How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we have another battle with the Surviper team. Hopefully it goes well. If you want to try the team out, use the code at the top right corner of the screen. There's also a copy and paste of the team in the description down below. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And with that being said, let's jump into the team preview. Okay, today we have a battle versus Tyler, also known as uh, Lazy Boy. Of course, the legend Lazy Boy from the Discord server. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There's a link in the description down below. Looking at his team, we have got some power. We've got the Greninja, the Pelipper, the Amoongus, which we can just go into Gudra and wall the crap out of. We've got the Garchomp, we've got the Cerulege, and we've got the Ferretris, which is always nice to see. So... Pelipper was UU, but it's actually OU now, um, which is interesting to note. Um, not that it really matters. Oh, it's OU anyway, isn't it? So, um, I'm looking at this matchup, and I'm thinking we lead off with Miascarada, um, and we just go for a nice and powerful U-turn. If they get the rain up, they get the rain up, so be it. We can always wall Greninja with the Gudra. And the battle begins, so Lazy Boy or Tyler is going to lead off with Castle Walls, the Ferretris, as we led off with Kit Kat, the Miascarada. So obviously we're going to U-turn here and we're going to go straight into Magnazone to try and wall this thing. Unless it's Offensive Ferretris again, I fought an Offensive Ferretris once and it made me paranoid ever since. So we'll go for a U-turn real quick, Protean's going to turn us into a Bug-type, we're going to get on out of there, break it sturdy, which is always amazing. I don't think they would go for the Earthquake if they did have it on the... Um, uh, the uh, Miascarada anyway, so... And we do have the um, Air Balloon as well for the Magnazone, so we don't have to worry about it too much, to be fair. So, we'll trap it in with a Magnet Pull, nice and early. Well done, well done, well done. Um, they go for a Toxic Spikes, and so it is a setup one. That's good, that's good. We like we like set up for Etris. So, they probably go for another Toxic Spikes here, because they have to go for an attack of some kind. We are Terra Ice, we're not Terra Fire, so we can't take this thing out in one shot. Thunderbolt is our best bet. Let's go for straight for the Thunderbolt. They can't switch out because of Magnet Pull, and we take it out of a critical hit, which is absolutely amazing. Looking at their team, we need all the hacks we can get. We need all the hacks we can get. So, getting the crit on the Mag on the Fretress is absolutely amazing. They're going to go into Emo Blades now. The Cerule Edge, definitely the Cerule Edge. Nice and shiny. Look at that beast. I love that. That looks amazing. So, anyway, what's our switch in here? Torkoal? But what can Torkoal do in return? We do not have good options here. We do not have good options at all. We don't have good options for this. So they probably go for a sword dance, right? So we can just go for a Volt Switch on this thing and get some mad damage off and then go into something that can revenge kill it. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, they do go for the sword dance as expected, which is great for us. Um, bit of a risky play, but we're going to get some nice chip damage off on them, which is amazing. Um, so the Volt Switch comes through. It does half, which is great. We're going to go ahead and go back out into Miascarada, who can definitely live a Shadow Sneak from this thing and go straight for that knockoff. So let's go ahead and do that. Kit Kat comes in. If they switch out, they're going to get knocked off on something else. I think Miascarada is going to be the key to winning this game. It's going to outspeed the Greninja, get a Flower Trick off. If we get the Cerule Edge out of the way and the, the Amoongus, then um, we're going to be golden to go. So we do get poisoned, unfortunately, but what can you do about that? Let's go for that knockoff real quick and get the KO. Hopefully they switch out. We can knock off something's item. That'd be ideal. Um, they do stay in, though. Which is interesting. So they didn't want anything else to be knocked off. Cerulege goes down, which is absolutely amazing. So down goes the Cerulege. So we're doing pretty good right now. We're doing pretty well. Um, we knocked off their clear amulet, which is an interesting choice. Um, I can't remember what clear amulet does, actually. Is that actually a good item? I haven't tried it yet. I don't know what it does. In comes Big Mouth, which is going to be the Pelipper, right? Yeah, Pelipper comes on in. So Pelipper can obviously live a knockoff. We know that for a fact. So they probably go for a, um, what do they go for here? What, what do they go for here? So if they go for a hurricane, I think we go Gudra. I think Gudra's our best bet. Gudra walls the crap out of the Amoongus. Um, it also does a lot of damage to the guard. If it's, if it's bulky chomp, then we wall it. But we have to obviously scout for that first by going into Corviknight. So um, we'll see what it's going to do later on down the line. We do get poisoned on this thing. They go for a U-turn. Let's see what they do here. So what are they going to go into? So they're going to switch out, of course. Um, into what? They're going to go Greninja, try the Ice Beam shenanigans, or are they going to go Garchomp to scare us out? Sneaky Licker is going to come in, which is the Greninja. So Greninja comes in. Now, I'm no betting man, but I'm pretty sure the only reason I need Greninja right now, uh, the only reason I need... Um, Gudra right now is to take out the Greninja. So this is the perfect matchup for me. They'll probably go for an Ice Beam, so it's no good going for a Thunderbolt. I'm going to go straight for the Draco Meteor and just take this thing out, hopefully. As they do Terrestrialize, are they going to go Ice? Terrestrializing into an Ice-type, maybe. 
Are they physical? They could be physical. I haven't seen physical yet. They go into a water type, which is fair enough. Water type terror, boosted by rain. They're probably thinking it's going to do a lot of damage, this hydro pump. As they go for an ice beam, they don't get the stab though. Why did they terrestrialize there? They should have just not stabbed. They should have not terrestrialized there, I think. As we nearly get the KO, which is amazing. So that's awesome. So Gudra's going to go ahead and get some more poison damage, which is really unfortunate. But what can you do? Um, we just go ahead and go for a Thunderbolt again. And then we drop a Draco just in case they go Garchomp. Drop a Draco just in case they go Garchomp. So um, that's awesome. They go for another Ice Beam. Greninja's going to go down this next turn. Um, if we can hit the Draco Meteor. There we do. Draco Meteor comes through. Down goes Greninja. So Gudra's putting in the finest work right now. Gudra is putting in the finest work right now. So down goes Greninja. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So poison is going to rack up. I think Gudra is basically on death's door right now. So whatever they bring in, we just let Gudra take. We just let Gudra go down. In comes Land Shark, which is of course the Garchomp. So Garchomp comes on in. I'm going to go for the Draco just in case they go for a Stealth Rocks. Um, they go for the Iron Head, which is interesting. They can't terrestrialize into a Steel type, which is good to note. Um, Gudra goes down to the Iron Head. There was, I guess, in, in, in theory, I could have done something about that. But um, I'm going to guess that they are actually Scarf Chomp. And I'm going to go into our Surviper. Do I go Surviper? Or do I terrestrialize here with uh, Magnazone? Magnazone could do some work. I think we go Magnazone. I think we go Magnazone. So we'll Magnazone it up. And um, we're going to Magnazone real quick. Um, floating the air with the air balloon, which is always nice. Um, we'll go ahead and terrestrialize into an ice type and go for that nice and powerful Terra Blast. Uh, they can't switch in Amoongus. Amoongus does get two shotted by this, so that's absolutely great. They don't switch out, which is interesting. I'm wondering what they're going to go for now. If they go for another Iron Head, expecting us to Terra Ice, I swear. I swear, they make a read like that, that's going to be epic. That is going to be epic if they make a read, a read like that. So they go for the Fire Fang, which is... Ice, I, Iron Head would have been better, but obviously they didn't know we were going to terrestrialize into an Ice type right there. And we do get burned by the Fire Fang, which is absolutely fine. Air Balloon's going to pop, which is absolutely fine. Terror Blast's going to come through, which is absolutely fine. And then we're going to destroy this Garchomp, which is absolutely fine. Down it goes. Terror Blast comes through. So Magnazone takes out the Garchomp, which is not something you would have thought. <laughs> you don't think to hear that every now and then, do you? <laughs> Magnazone takes out Garchomp. It's not something you hear. In comes Sus, which is going to be the Amoongus. So this thing's going to want to go for the poison, um, the uh, the uh, grass type shenanigans that it goes for. So I'm thinking we go into Meowth to avoid a... Um... Oh no, we don't have to avoid his spot. I could have just Terra Blasted there, but I kind of want to keep Magnazone around for the Pelipper. So we'll go into Meowth because Meowth is not doing too much. They go for a Sludge Bomb, which is going to do enough to KO the Meowth That was probably a bad play, to be fair. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. Do you know why it's fine? We have the Surviper. We have the Surviper in the back. This is going to be epic. This is going to be epic. So Surviper, I don't think it KOs Amoongus, depending on the set that it is. But we can switch through it. Which is going to be epic. If we can switcheroo the Mimungus, that'd be epic. So I think I am going to go straight for the switcheroo right now. And um, there we go. Switcheroo comes through. Give that Mimungus a choice band right now. Lock it into Spore. Um, if he goes for Spore, that is. As um, we get a Blob of Black Sludge, which is awesome. So goes for the Spore, which is unfortunate. But what can you do? Um, now we know they're locked into Spore. We can just burn off a turn of sleep. No problem. So I'm going to go ahead and go for that Gunk Shot real quick and see what they're going to do. They probably switch out. They do switch out, which is amazing for them. Into the Pelipper, which is amazing. Big Mouth over there. All we have to do is try and wake up. That's all we have to do. So Rykon is asleep, unfortunately. But I have a feeling we're going to wake up the next turn. So the Rain is going to stop just in time, which means we're going to take less damage from Surf. And Hurricane is not a guaranteed hit. Um, we go for a Gunk Shot real quick on this thing. They go for a Surf. Not going to do nearly enough damage as we do wake up. Clutch! Go for the gunshot. Clutch, we hit it. Does some solid damage, which is amazing. So, Black Sludge is obviously going to recover our health. You know? So, with that in mind, do we go for a switcheroo? Give it the Black Sludge? Let's go for it. They go for another Surf, which is amazing. Nearly going to take us out. We go for the switcheroo real quick. There we go. Give it the Black Sludge. Give it the Black Sludge, and now the Black Sludge is going to damage it every turn. Which is amazing. We get the Damrock as well, which is always nice. 
So the Black Sludge is going to kick in, lowering the health of the Pelipper. We just have to let Surviper go down right now. We outspeed this turn, which is interesting, and we get to take it out of a critical hit. So that's... Wow, how did we outspeed? Was that a speed tie this entire time? Was that a speed tie this entire time? Are you kidding me right now? That's crazy. So in comes Sus. So Viper's putting in the work right now. So Viper is putting in the work right now. Um, that's amazing. So what we can do now is we can just go straight for a Ice Fang. They're not going to lock themselves into... Um, I think I think we just go for an Ice Fang, right? We just go for an Ice Fang. So we go for an Ice Fang real quick. There we go. Does some good damage, which is great. And um, they go for a foul play. That's going to take out Surviper, of course. I think that was the best move they could lock themselves into right there. That was definitely the best moves they could lock themselves into. So we go back into Magnazone. And we finish this with Style. We freeze this Amoongus into nothingness. So there we go. Go for a Terror Blast. And that should finish up the game right there. That should finish up the game. Should finish up the game. So we go for the Terror Blast real quick. There we go. Terror Blast comes through. Should take out the Amoongus. Absolutely amazing battle. That was really fun. I enjoyed that so much. So GG Lazy Boy. That was a pretty fun game. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.